Hi guys, um, as, as you can see that this video is about teaching uh, the, the beginners how to feed the sun coral. Um, the, these guys are pretty tough to feed to be honest uh, because as you can see that the, the polyps are pretty much closed right now. Obviously if I want to feed them I'll basically have to wait for them to open up or it's just not very feasible sometimes. So. You can see that they are closed right now and uh, we, we still got to feed them so if, if I feed inside the tank there will be food debris everywhere uh, obviously and the nutrient, nutrient value will just shoot up so there's a little technique that works for me uh, it's, it's a fantastic lovely coral to keep so colorful bright yellow but obviously you got to know your game if, if you want to keep this coral so I'm just going to do a little tutorial here how to feed these guys uh, in a very easy way uh, that everyone can just replicate uh, to get the best results out of this coral. So um, I'm just gonna get, uh, I'm just gonna take this ball and uh, take some water out, the tank water. Um, and uh, what I'm gonna do is to just keep this on the side here and uh, just gonna just dip my hand and, and take the sun coral out. So uh, it's very easy. Uh, it's, it's actually on a frag, so it's gonna get come out. Here's the sun coral, and here it goes in there. So you can see um, it's still closed up. If I can zoom it up for you guys, uh, but what we're gonna do. Is, is, is trying to feed it so, so what I'm gonna feed uh, these corals is uh, the fauna marine uh, palette this is so nutritious for any coral really and these are small palettes so it's very easy to feed the sun coral uh, it can easily fit inside its mouth what I'm gonna do is just gonna take some pallets out uh, pallets are pretty uh, you can see they are very tiny just gonna keep some here and uh, if you see what I'm gonna do is just just check on top of its map really so in a couple of minutes uh, the coral will sense um, the palace around and it will open up okay um, guys as you can see the coral uh, coral has uh, now opened up completely uh, uh, obviously it can sense the food in the water um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take my pallets now I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna feed uh, uh, the coral so as as mentioned earlier I still have the photo marine pallet in my hand as I hope you can see that um, making the video myself so sorry about the quality um, if you look um, I've got this right on top of its head and here goes the food so I'm gonna just fast forward it and to show you how this basically straight goes into its mouth uh, at the same time I'm gonna feed it to the other heads as well so there's some food in the head number two um, let's feed head number three. I hope you can see that. Uh, pellets are easier to feed uh, because you can literally target feed uh, the polyps, and uh, these are small. Another one. With sun coral, you got to feed every single head uh, for it to gain the maximum size and re reproduce as well. Sometimes two heads will basically fight for the food, uh, as you can see. <laughs> the bottom one, the bottom one has snatched it uh, from the top one. Uh, it's all fun. Obviously, if you're passionate about this hobby, uh, you you wouldn't mind doing this sort of work. The colors of this coral is, is definitely worth it. One more. There we go. 
So obviously if I show you, um, the top palate is pretty much done with the food anyways now it's got in. You can see the mouth is opened up. That palate has got in as well. The remaining palates are taking their time in consuming the food. But that's that's the easiest way you can basically get the sun coral to feed without polluting your tank. And once you feed it, uh, it will open up even more. And you know, once you will see this coral in the tank light now, it will look absolutely stunning. And once you feed it, feed this coral at the particular time. Um, then you will notice that every day the coral will basically seek to open itself the same time. So you can basically get your coral trained in opening up at certain timings. So technically when you open up your tank lights for example for display or something, uh, if your coral is trained enough to open at that particular time of the day then you will get to see the full value of the colors and and you know the, obviously the, the vibrancy this this coral will create uh, within the display of your tank. So as you, as you can see, uh, as as we were speaking, uh, that the, the the food has been consumed completely. Uh, you can see uh, this polyp, uh, the food how it is going in, in inside its mouth. The coral has pretty much fed it. Within no time, it will close its mouth, ready for some more. The more you feed this coral, the more colors you're going to get out of it, the, the more reproduction. I started with five heads really, it, it, it has fed well and it has reproduced. So guys, uh, obviously I'm going to show you now what this coral looks like inside the tank uh, and obviously we're going to sum this up as well. So guys, um, uh, this is what, what it is. Uh, as you can see, the sun coral is now back in the tank. The colors are looking absolutely stunning. Uh, this is one amazing coral, um, and once it is wet well, it is, 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 is I think it's one of the most beautiful corals you can keep within your reef tank. Um, just to give you an idea, what's going on inside the tank? Uh, here we go. Uh, so, guys, I I, I would really stress that uh, people don't feel that scared of keeping this coral it's not a difficult thing the whole thing that we did pretty much took about 10 minutes really as long as you're feeding this coral twice or thrice a week uh, it's, it's 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 full value um, so happy reefing really thank you very much